What's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to some more Hydroneer. So, last episode we got our second mining machine. It's doing the things. We're rocking and rolling. It's fantastic. We have everything sped up now. Uh, well, I mean, I guess we're mining twice as fast as we were, which is fantastic. But there is some more optimizations that can be made here, and some more things that we need to get done until we're done with this mine, because we're still not done with this mine site. So. Um, goals of this episode, I would love to get another mining machine in here. If we get enough iron by the end of it to do that, we absolutely will. However, we're going to focus on a couple things. One of which is we are going to move this guy down one. We're going to move it down one because the rate at which these are coming out, you can see this one clears to this belt and then boom, another set of two. There's that belt, another set of two, which means that there is going to be dirt on these belts as these are hitting so i do want to get that grinder i want to get this grinder guy placed right here so that way it's grinding them up into small pieces um next thing i want to do is i also want to get cloutium being sorted out and smelted because we're ending cloudium um and then i want to get the gem compactor done as well and then i also want to get a sorter here that's going to go actually you know i don't even know if you can change direction of the sorters now that i think about it because i wanted the i wanted to sort uh, dirt and then eject it basically this way back on this belt and around because we haven't had any dirt fall into the belt yet but I'm a little bit worried that if we do it's gonna clog up some stuff, but I don't know. We'll see um, but we definitely need the cloudium we definitely need the gem compactor and then Get this guy moved down one and then a uh, that on the the grinder on there and then all that fun stuff But that's what we're gonna do this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like on the video if you subscribe if you haven't already Let's get to it. So I think our money is going to come from this gold bar right here. I bet you it's worth it's worth like forty nine sixty eight by itself. Now, if I could, I would love to have like a giant um, gem on there. But because we don't have the ability to combine the gems yet, I can't really do that. So we're going to set that there I grab this hammer. We're going to go what bam. We're going to make ourselves an amazing ring we're gonna sell that and then we're gonna go buy the stuff that we need and hopefully we have enough to get everything we need so that way this um this mine is gonna be done pretty much after this episode we're just gonna leave it alone let it do its thing and then we're gonna start focusing on where we want to go next uh 5479 heck yeah that is always good we almost have enough to actually buy the next piece of land which actually i'm gonna leave leave a comment down below what piece of land do you think i should buy do you think i should buy the snow covered land on the outside or do you think we should buy that land that is next to the mine and i want to talk about both one it would be nice to have the the land next to that like dwarven mine area but i'm also thinking that i i kind of wanted to build some buildings and like have like you know, some of my stuff in like little factory buildings and stuff like that. And I think that the um, that winter snowy area would just look a lot nicer for that. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the mine, um, the mine within the mine or the big, huge snowy area. Let, let me know. I'm curious. Um, But we're going to go ahead. We're going to take this over and we're going to get some things that we need for this. So we need another smelter, a sorter, the gem compactor and probably another funnel. Oh, and then... Okay, so another smelter, another sorter. And then the gem compactor. And then... We'll have to see what else we need. Okay, hold on. We just... We just lost... We lost our machines. Okay, and I want these to be basically be going, like, all the time. So let's get those fixed up. Okay, we should be good for a little bit. So let's have it over there. Let's get those things done and let's get this place even better than what we have now. It's just going to uh, allow us to do everything. Um, and then with the, with the gem compactor, mm, it's going to make things so much more valuable too. Okay, so let's start with the expensive stuff first. Um, let's grab one of these. Because the only other resource we have right now is Cloudium that can be smelted. So that is going to be our final... Uh, final smelting pot and then from there, you know, I'm I am curious to buy one of these cloudium water pipes But I don't know if it will Decrease water by 2.5 percent 
will this cloudium pipe make a difference with our regular pipes or will they not work i don't know i'm not 100 percent sure oh my gosh this compressor is 2340 holy moly i mean i guess we only need the one but still geez louise that's expensive okay so that leaves us with 2851 so not gonna be able to use a funnel with this the belt's gonna have to directly feed into that now if i wanted to we could have a vertical belt going down actually I guess it could just fall huh um but then here's our splitter conveyor i know we need one of these so that's gonna be for our cloudium perfect um i don't really need a gem polisher unless this machine only does polished gems compresses cut gemstones ah so we do have to have the polisher because it doesn't compress uncut gemstones okay so we're gonna need that which means that we're also gonna need a belt for this to attach to so let's go ahead and let's grab a straight conveyor for that at least this was 1757 okay so let's go grab another funnel because what i'm thinking is that the conveyor belts are it's just gonna have to drop off the conveyor belt so we're gonna grab nope not that a funnel so the gemstones can drop from this onto the conveyor belt below it and then the conveyor belt below it is going to hopefully have the gem cutter you know what i should just get another site a straight conveyor just to make sure okay and then from there you know what i'm going to get the cloudium intake pipe i'm going to see if we can't get that bonus the uh the 250 water pressure because things work faster based on water pressure we're gonna try it we're gonna try it if it doesn't do anything cool we know but if it does then hey that might that might speed things up considerably for us okay so that should be good let's go ahead let's head back and then we're gonna have to get more pipes and things like that but we have all the pipes that we need back at our base i don't think there's anything else here that i need i think we're good I'm probably missing something. There's probably like a glaring thing that I'm missing, but that's okay. All right, you know what? First thing we're gonna do, let's 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 look. So this is the speed at which things are moving currently, and then we're gonna switch that pipe out. We're gonna see if it makes any difference whatsoever. Oh! Oh, holy moly! It definitely sped up the conveyor belts. But it it's like it's high pressured right now you know what i wonder if this is going to damage the equipment and machinery so the conveyor belts are a lot faster interesting i bet you i bet you if this needs to be cloudy i'm everywhere i'm gonna let it run i'm gonna let it i'm just gonna let it do what it does I'm curious about the high water pressure, though. I wonder if that's going to damage these machines at all. I don't know. Okay. So now that it's doing its thing, let's go ahead and let's kind of get some stuff set up here. Let's kind of get some things visualized. So we are going to have to have a water pipe going to here. Man, with that faster conveyor belt, like we're not... I don't think these are going any faster, though. They're really not. Okay, you know what? We're going to forget this for now. And we're going to just let this go in here. Because it's not making the machines go any faster. And I am worried that it might cause some issues with 
the machines and whatnot. So we'll leave it there. We'll we'll use it later, but it's not making the machines go any faster, so I don't really even care. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn some things off, and we're gonna get some things organized here. So first thing that we can do. Oh, I'm gonna need my hammer. First thing we can do is we can go ahead and pull this off of here and place it like that. Then we can grab our new smelter. Place that underneath of there. We're going to need to take this cork out. We're going to need some straight pipes here. Um, let's see. I'm not 100% sure where that's going yet. Let me go grab a straight pipe. All right, and then this guy can go on here. That is going to be our Cloudium. So let's get up here and let's get this Cloudium set up to where it needs to be. So that's going to sort Cloudium that way. Now, what's going to go from here is... Let's see, where's our cork? These are going to fall down onto a conveyor belt underneath. So let's go ahead and get a, another funnel. Something like that. And then this should be a straight conveyor. I'm going to put this directly underneath. Oh, we have to get pipes first. That's going to go directly underneath of there. And then we're going to have another one. One, two, and then that one. That should... That should be everything that we need. So wait, let me just go grab some pipes. So we're going to figure out... Okay, so the easiest way to pipe this together is probably going to be to run this straight out. So we're going to need one, two, a T, an elbow straight, and then a straight and an elbow. So... Three straights, a T, and two elbows. That's what we should need. Okay, I was one straight pipe short. But we should be good now. I should be able to go ahead and put this cork in right there. Now, straight conveyor belt that way, that way, gem polisher right there. And then those should go into here. This should go boop right into there. And then the only thing not being sorted is gemstones. Gemstones go fall, boom, they go in that way, they go there. Okay, so that should work. Also, I didn't realize these pipes, these decrease pressure by 3%. Um, pretty sure it used to be 1%. <laughs> so that's something new. But I think we're ready to go. I'm going to, uh, this is probably going to be a mistake, but I'm going to do it anyways. That's going to be, that's going to be an issue. I bet you anything that's going to be an issue and I probably made a mistake, but we're going to let it do its thing. Because that is a lot of stuff right there. I'm actually curious to see how this part works. Okay. And then that went into there. Okay. So then the Cloudium. Decent amount of Cloudium. Lots of gems. Okay, this, this part right here is going to be interesting. Yeah, that was the mistake. I mean, most of them stayed, though. Actually, wasn't that bad. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I like that. So we got that figured out. Now, last bit of optimizations. This is going to be moved. <sighs> you know what? We should just build them starting from the end. For some reason, it doesn't want, it doesn't want you to build on this side of the machines. Only on this side. And we were going to have one, two, three, four. Uh, we were going to have a fifth one there. So you know what? Let's just let's do this. Let's get that one there. Let's get that one there. Let's just hook these bad boys up right now. Okay, so that should work. So three more machines. We'll need a straight pipe. And then I guess a cork here. We're going to need cork on all of these, but corks don't cost anything. So 
three corks and a straight pipe. Okay, perfect. There we go. We got everything moved. Um, oh, we got to get our grinder deal on here. It's the whole reason we moved everything was to throw the grinder right there. So now we shouldn't have to worry about any clumping um, in the event that these start clumping together. Once we get more machines on there, it's probably going to happen. So that's why it was necessary now. And we should be good. We've got cloudy and we've got gemstones. We've got all of the things. This is going to be super, super nice. Um, I'm going to go through and go ahead and uh, tie every or hammer everything down. Oh, son of a gun. I was like, I keep hearing the sound of dirt falling and I can't figure out where it's coming from. Yeah, it's because I don't have a conveyor over here. Jeez, I'm going to have to go. Uh, we're going to have to go get a conveyor. <laughs> can't believe I did that. I just like didn't have a conveyor there. Yeah, one conveyor short. Darn it. Okay, let's go grab a conveyor. You know what? Actually, since we're about to head over there, let's go ahead and weigh our iron. 140 and yeah, not close enough and conveyor has been installed okay so now we can let this thing run and do what it's supposed to do golly i can't believe we did that it's so funny hammer that guy down put the hammer away all right uh let's compress our gems shall we hey look at those big boys oh Oh man, we can make something fancy with those. Uh, Cloudium, I'm not honestly even gonna touch my Cloudium until we can start making Cloudium stuff. So, yeah, but now we can have the gems being uh, refined down. That That's super nice. All right, let's check our iron again. Come on, be close, 300. 278, oh, you've gotta be kidding me. We're almost there. We are almost there. I've had to repa repair these things so many times already. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and let's sell a ring. Let's make some money here. All right. Let's see. What is the value of these individually? So that's 641. That is 542. 609. So what was the first one? This one, 641. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a super amazing ring with that. Get that in here, get it all heated up nice. And then what's this ingot right here worth alone? 32? Okay. Go ahead and smash. Oh, what? Did I not? The, the ingot's not hot enough? Come on. Heat up. All right, maybe it's hot enough now. Hey, there we go. All right, so let's go sell this bad boy. A sapphire ring. 42.75. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, I don't think I'm going to have any need to purchase anything right now. So we're just going to go ahead and let this stack up. And wait for iron to get done so we get our third machine in here. That's going to be super nice. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and I think we've been setting them over here. Because I've been needing to buy these more than anything else. So we got 4375 to our name. Awesome. Like I said, I think we're pretty much done with everything else over here. We're just waiting to get more uh, more miners in here. And then hopefully we'll fill up these miners. And then we'll start getting the money so we can see what we're going to go buy. You know what? Actually, I'm kind of curious on the Cloudium. How is... Oh, that's a small bar. 16.52 oh my gosh you know how long it's gonna take to get tier two stuff you know i when i we, la, was it last episode when i said that we were only gonna do we weren't gonna go crazy with the machines because i didn't need all that ore that fast uh yeah that might actually not be so much of a thing we might actually need 15 or 20 miners to get cloudium Jeez, 16 we need 300 <laughs> oh my gosh all right, we are finally there. 367. Let's go get another machine. Hook this bad boy up. Get things sped up a little bit more. Golly. This, you know what? I got to tell you, the grind to get started is definitely real. All right, here we go. So we are good on our little totem there. Drop that in. Hit the button. 
Wham. And it's done. Now, actually, I should have... Yeah, I do. I have two bars here already. So we'll just leave those here. Now, it actually might be good to have a smelter in here, like a crucible or something. Uh, and like a saw and a way, like a, a weight machine or whatever. Because then you could, you know, kind of see what you have. And you could always uh, re-cut up and re redistribute and whatever. So that's done. That is fantastic. We have a third machine. And like I said, I think our starting area... It's about done. Other than the machines, it's about done. Now, like I was saying before, um, I don't know if we should buy this area because I don't know if it includes this area. I think it does. Or I actually want to go check out the other area again because I think the other area is just like, I just like the looks of it better because this looks super cool and it'd be cool to have all our stuff in here. Um, however, this, this other area outside, like, ugh, it looks so nice. All right, let's load this thing up real fast. Take it with us. Forged iron drill. Oh my gosh, so nice to have these. So this area right here, it just looks so nice. And we've got a water source right there that we could pull from. Like I feel like this would be such a such a cool looking area. Uh, Snow rune falls. Yeah, like I can already see it now. Just like building up like little shacks here, little shacks here, and have this be like a little mining outpost. Oh, this would be super cool. It's only 7,000 too, so it really isn't that expensive. So I guess the most expensive plot of land in the game is actually the one underneath that forge, which I don't know. I keep going back and forth on whether I'd like that or not. It'd be cool and be handy, but at the same time, like this would be prettier. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll have to see. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. You know what? Is there a shortcut back through here? Oh my gosh. We're taking a shortcut, people. Now, I am a trained professional. Do not do this at home. Wow, that was like amazing. You know, we could actually get up there that way bit too. <laughs> we probably could. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not going up. All right, let's get our machine on here. Oh, this is going to be so nice. And we'll go ahead and take this plug out. Grab you. Turn the handle on. And away we go. Oh, three machines. Triple the power. This is looking good. This is looking good, but that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Um, again, leave a comment down below. And then I think next episode, I think we're going to have to make a decision because um, we need, I mean, really the only thing we have left here to do is get two more of these machines going. And then that is all we're going to do as, as far as this mine goes. And then we're going to start prepping the next area. So I'm definitely excited. And uh, yeah, make sure you stick around because I'm excited to, I'm excited to build in our next area. It's going to be fun. But um, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.